All right, so the first two packs we've got to open are these uh, 1991 Upper Deck baseball cards. And a few of the cards we're looking for in these packs are going to be some autograph cards, obviously. And uh, potentially a Michael Jordan baseball card um, was also in these packs um, with him with the White Sox. And we also are looking for um, the record-breaking day in baseball history where uh, what it was Ricky Henderson broke Lou Brock's stolen base record and Nolan Ryan did his seventh uh, no-hitter all in one day so very impressive so with any luck we'll maybe end up with one of those and one of these packs these are some older packs so I can't exactly open these ones nicely Start the. What we got the front a little mixer here. All right, Gary Redis. Nothing too impressive about Gary Redis. The veteran Bob Boone, Kansas City Royals. Eighteen hundred hits at that point. We got Chet Levin, the veteran for the Detroit Tigers. Willie Randolph, who played a long career in the MLB. We got Scott Bankhead. Oh, looks like we got a shimmering or shiny card here. Kansas City Royals. It's pretty neat. Melito Perez, there's a character for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, 141, 161 strikeout seasons. Good pitcher. Then we got Corey Schneider, Cleveland Indians, Charlie Liebrandt. Yeah, he's a good. Good reliever, if I am correct. Actually, no, starter. 151, 129 strikeouts. Yep. Yeah. I remember having cards of him with the Royals, though. Steve Decker. It's like a rookie card. Except I don't think Decker got to be a star, though. <laughs> Mike Devereaux, there we go. He ended up playing for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays briefly later on. Never amounted to too much, though. And we got Willie Blair for Toronto. Ooh, we got Kevin Mitchell. He's a good power hitter. 47 home runs in 1989. Big guy. Oh, we got Jim Abbott. That's neat. You kind of see him uh, batting, too, right there. Yep, very cool story with Jim Abbott. As you can kind of see on the his right hand there. Didn't have a right hand. Had to pitch with the left. And a very good pitcher at that. Or an all-star worthy pitcher, I believe. He ended up playing for um, the Yankees and throwing a no-hitter. And also played with the Brewers, if I... Um, I believe that's correct. Oh, and here we go. Fernando Valenzuela. We're doing a documentary on uh, on Valenzuela, I believe, on MLB Network right now. 242 strikeouts in 1986. Yeah, pretty, pretty good year. <laughs> I'm sure he had a few good years because they don't list all the years on these cards. 
It's pretty cool on the back, him signing a Sports Illustrated with him on the cover. <laughs> 1,700 strikeouts at that point. Yeah, Fernando Valenzuela, that's the best card in this pack. That's neat. And Dave Rohde, who I have never heard of. <laughs> hmm. First one down. And I got these at a local... Uh, Thor up here in the North Woods and Rylander. Reincarnation resale. If you're ever in Rylander, great little place to go. They got some card packs there. Oh, we got a Pascual Perez. It's pretty neat. That's who I was thinking of, not Milito. Pasquale. <laughs> you can see his big chain there hanging down. <laughs> He's pretty dang good for the Expos, but I think he kind of floundered later on with New York. Oh, Dave Anderson. Yeah, he was a good hitter. Let's see. I say good hitter, then I don't show some of his stats, right? <laughs> 24 homers, 15 homers, 20 homers. Nice. And we got, oh, Ken Griffey Sr. That's a cool card. Oh, and that's probably Junior right next to him. <laughs> that's neat. Two thousand one hundred career hits. Yeah, that, that's a neat card. Oh, and next we got Eddie Murray. 500 career home runs. I believe 3,000 career hits eventually, too. Eddie Murray. Let's take a look. 379 homers at that point. 2,300 hits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he definitely re reached 3,000 hits. Yeah, that's, that's a cool card. It's probably the best one in there. This one or the Ken Griffey Sr. so far. Brett Saberhagen. <laughs> yeah, 193, 163, 171. He was a good starting pitcher. We look at 89, 23, and 6. <laughs> Pretty good season. Anytime you get over that 20-win mark, you're considered elite for a pit starting pitcher. Dan Petrie. Nice. For Detroit. Veteran pitcher. Kind of coming to the close of his career here. Oh, we got... Oh, another Brett Saberhagen. Team checklist card. It's kind of neat. Dwight Smith for the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Greg Maddox. Early on. Let's see. Fourth year, fifth year. Yeah. You can see the strikeouts starting to mount up. The wind's piling up. He was just getting going before he went to the Braves. Gerald Clark. And we got a refractor. Another one. Kansas City Royals again. Oh, Kevin Bass. He's pretty decent for a short short stint. There you go. 86 Astros, 20 homers, 311 batting average, 184 hits. Yeah, he had a stellar season that year. All-around athlete. Oh, this is cool. Rafael Palmero, I believe. He had number three. That's interesting. I thought he was 25 for forever. But, yeah, he could have been number three early on. For the Texas Rangers and the team checklist. Oh, 
We got Scott Lewis. Dave West for the Minnesota Twins. Oh, good card at the back. And we got a rookie, Charles Nagy, who became a longtime pitcher for the Cleveland Indians and one of their better starters, if I do believe. That is neat. Yeah, it's probably between the Eddie Murray, the Charles Nagy, and the Ken Griffey Sr. for the best cards in these packs. So there you have it.